struggling to explain the details of a disturbing murder to their kids. The discussion comes after a six-year-old boy was found dead earlier this week. Even for adults, some of the details are hard to hear, so we want to warn you about that. KCTV5's Betsy Webster talked with a parent whose child knew the victim. The boy's name is Carvel Stevens. People have been leaving mementos for him here at the house where he was found dead. In fact, we were here when a little girl left this note for him. Carvel, you always were nice to me. Love, your friend Lily. So he can know I, oh, I always remember him. Lily came to the house with her mom, Jessica Moore, who gave her blessing to Lily talking to us about Carvel whom she met in kindergarten. He was more funny at lunch and he was sweet at recess because on the first day I didn't have anyone to play with. So he asked me if I would be his friend and, and I said yes. Her mom struggled with how much to tell her. It's sickening, it's heartbreaking, it's just, it's unbelievable. Police were called to the house late Tuesday night by a woman who said the devil was trying to attack her. According to a court affidavit, when they arrived, they heard a woman singing inside, made entry, and found a woman with blood on her. They identified that woman as 35-year-old Tasha Hafes. Police wrote in the affidavit that they found her six-year-old son nearby decapitated. They say they also found a decapitated dog in the basement. Initially, Jessica told Lily Carvel moved away. Then she said he died, but didn't give details. Then she went into specifics, worried that Lily might find out from an older child on the school bus. Because I don't want her to find out something that horrific any, any way other than safe with me. She's eager to have Lily return to school on Tuesday with counselors to talk to, professionals who know what Lily needs right now, besides her mother's love. I just want her to feel safe and you, you know, you don't, you don't want your kid to realize that they, these are the realities of the world. Charging documents indicate that Hafes admitted to killing her biological son. Relatives told us that she has two other older children. Police indicated in that affidavit that there were no other children home here at the time. In Kansas City, Missouri, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News.